my name's Marie Preble and I'm a sheep farmer and sheep shearer from Kent in the south of England. I'm happy to do this video today for the first European Wool Day and I'll talk to you a little about why it's important that we shear sheep for the welfare of the animal and for management on the farm. It's the beginning of April, so very early in the season in the UK here. I'm just shearing today some rams and my ewe hoggets, which are one year old from last year. And I will do you a demonstration and then talk to you a little about why it's important that we shear. As a farmer, there's a couple of things I need to think about to prepare for shearing. You can see the sheep behind me. I gathered these last night and I'm going to be shearing this morning. So last night they came into the shed, into a dry area, and you can see they've had no food and no water for 12 hours. Now this is really important. We talk about emptying the sheep out before shearing. This is because the sheep's gut actually weighs 15% of its total body weight. And if we can el eliminate that, it's reduced stress and reduced weight for the shearer to have to drag each day, every single sheep, 15% less. But more importantly, for the welfare of the animal. So sheep will sit m much more comfortably if they're gut is empty of food and water prior to shearing they do not wriggle as much and they aren't uncomfortable with it if you imagine being sheared being pulled around just after lunch it wouldn't be very comfortable for you so just imagine what it's like for the sheep it's much better for their welfare to get them in prior to shearing approximately 12 hours and make sure they've got no access to food and water if you don't have a shed possibly just in the corner of a field where there's very very bare grass hardly any grass at all just ahead of shearing so they gathered and the, the stress is reduced from gathering so we're not getting them in just as the shearers turn up just having everything prepared having a nice safe working area plenty of hurdles plenty of people to help just to make the job as easy as possible for sheep for the farmer and for the shearers now another reason we empty sheep out so leave them off food and water prior to shearing is so that they aren't defecating on the board and up the trailer. So if you imagine a sheep that's got a belly full of wet grass or hay or any type of feed and water, a lot of that is going to be left in the handling area, in the trailer, and especially on the board during shearing, which can be dangerous for the shearer. And of course, everything we do at shearing time should be a priority for the welfare of the animals. So the question of why do we need to shear sheep is one to do with animal welfare. You can see the sheep has a very dirty back end and in the summer this sheep would be very liable to fly strike which is when flies lay their eggs in the fleece of the sheep and those eggs hatch into maggots and will feed on the animal alive. So shearing, shearing is crucial to remove the heavy fleece in the hot summer to prevent fly strike.
is the wool from my year old U Hoggets. They are pure Romneys. And they're, they're being sheared now at the beginning of April. And then I'll shear them again in the autumn when the wool will be a similar sort of length. And I shear them twice a year, which is fairly unusual for the UK. Most people just shear once in June or July through the summer and then apply chemical to the fleece either before or after shearing to give protection to the sheep from fly strike. 